All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, damn. All right. Mark, what is up, people? What is up, people? Yes. <laughs> Got a great update today. <laughs> uh, I should just put that on a t-shirt. Oh, it is. I can tell it's Andrew. I wouldn't even look at it. What's up, brother? <laughs> uh, I should get a t-shirt t made up that says, what's up, people? <laughs> I was just on Instagram breaking a hole. Oh. Holy crap. Thank you, brother. I was just on Instagram breaking a, 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 a buddy's balls. He's a, he's a fellow racer. Calling him out a little bit on his goofiness. But he's a good guy. Um, so, great news. Actually, the news is so great. It's... It, it, I'm like at a loss for words. I was stuttering on the phone. Um, <laughs> so first of all, first thing I did was uh, I called the dealership that I ordered my OEM half shift. It already shipped. <laughs> it's going to be here on Monday. And I was like, woohoo, all right. I literally, I, I did it. I was like, woohoo, something like that. I don't know. <laughs> but um, I'm like, great. I'll have my car probably fixed by Tuesday or Wednesday. I mean, earlier than the end of the week and then I called G-Force and uh, a gentleman named Bill picked up the phone I told him who I was he goes oh wow funny you called I'm like stapling your box right now what <laughs> what <laughs> um really uh, so now we have <laughs> our G-Force axles if they get picked up today um, hey, what's up, Joe? Our Chief First Axles, if they if they are picked up by UPS today, I'll have them tomorrow because I paid for next day air shipping. Um, that means if by Monday morning, I'm dropping them off because I know Chase and Evan won't be in the shop on Saturday. Uh, they might be. Sometimes they rotate. I'll have to call over to Dunfab, see if they're there tomorrow. Um, next day air saver, UPS. It has a, uh, a business commit time. Well, business commit, but I'm not a business. So, by the end of the day tomorrow. But since, um, since I know the driver, I could probably just pick it up in the morning if I have to. As soon as they, as soon as they leave the, uh, the building. Um, is that a rental? Yes, I am in this goofy rental. I thought I was going to have to extend it through next week. I don't think I'm going to have to now. Uh, I may have to a couple days next week um, until I can get the uh, the axles put in. But So here's the thing, guys. Um, now I have a brand new half shaft and a used half shaft coming out of the vehicle this week. I mean, literally, the OEM shaft. I'm going to call the dealership back and say, anyway, I can get a refund. Uh or they'll just restocking fee or something. But uh, I'm still gonna have parts. I'm gonna still have extra parts. Not only am I gonna, am I stuck with the, o, the OEMs, but I still have the good side coming out. I still have a good, I still have a full extra set, you know, um, which I guess would probably be a good thing to hold on to. Hold on. See, I, I work nights, so I woke up late. So all everybody that found out that these axles were shipping this morning, I had no clue. I didn't go on Facebook or, or any of the group pages. I would have seen. I'm sure Joe tagged me. Joe, I'm sure you tagged me in something, but I didn't get a chance to uh, see anything on um, Instagram. I was just there breaking balls with our with our buddy Stang Mode and um, some of the guys in our chat. Um, I didn't have a chance to actually look into it so bill at g-force caught me off guard he, he's probably laughing if he sees this because i was 
stuttering. I was literally like, w- uh, w- uh, what? I wasn't prepared for them to say, yeah, we're shipping today. Because um, there was no definitive answer on the um, CV joints if, if they were coming. And also, uh, I think studs, I think, I forget what else they said that they were waiting on um, that were actually causing this delay. Um, anyway, so now we know that they're shipping. There are going to be vendors that have them. Um, we've got Solis Racing Group, our buddy Joe. You can find them there. He'll have them. I don't know if he's already pre-sold out, if he's already sold out all of his axles. Um, JP Shop. I don't know if JP only ordered one. Sell them on, on eBay and make a profit. Um, I... <laughs> Eh, nah, nah, that'd be, well, anything else I would, but in this community, for what I do, that would be a real scumbag move, I'm, I'm trying to help people, it would be a really dirty move on my part to try to capitalize on that, um, nah, I couldn't do it, um, I gotta hold my integrity intact for, for this, for, at least for, for my channel, I mean, I've done that in the past where I've bought things and resold them on eBay, years ago, uh, I used to buy used computers, I would clean them out like laptops. You can go to a, you can find companies that lease them, and then when their lease is up, they sell them dirt cheap. A little insider stuff if you want to like make some cash, right? Um, you can get like a whole bulk thing of like, I, I used to get the Dell D's. Not good. Five, seven minutes in, we already had a connection issue. Thanks, AT and T. You're the best. Anyway. Just that was a side note. Like you can make money. Um, that's a beautiful Mustang. Wow. Um, you can make side money doing that on eBay. Uh, I have a a store up there. SRT stickers I used to sell. Like you can make a you can make a little side cash on that. It's all about the side hustle. If you're not trying to make money in every different angle, what's stopping you? Shoot, selling. I sell pictures on Flickr ebay store all right we're seem to be in a little um reception area that's bad for reception so yeah i'm breaking up until i get through this this little area so i apologize for that we're, we're it's bumper to bumper so there's nothing i can do but once we get out of here and it starts picking up a better cell tower we should be all right uh, John, yours should ship today. I was literally on the phone with him as the guy, and the guy, after noon, uh, like I said, I paid for her next day air, so I should have them tomorrow. At the latest, if UPS misses their pickup, it happens, then I'd have them on Monday. Uh, or excuse me, yeah, they pick up on Saturday. I'd have them on Monday, Tuesday at the latest. So I'm going to call Chase and Evan as soon as I get down here, say, what can you guys do for me, blah, blah, blah. Um, We'll see if we can get it done beginning of the week because I want to get out of this rental, not just because it's a rental, it's because I have to pay for an extra week on Monday. That's timing is everything. Um, I don't want to spend another 180 bucks on a, on a car that I don't need. Uh, obviously, they give you the money back for whatever days you don't use. Uh, I should be able to come down to be Woody on the 19th. Awesome, dude. Yeah, that'd be great. Um... Yeah, definitely come hang out. Uh, Elaine and I will be there early in the morning. Um, our appointment starts at 9 a.m. Uh, once we're done, anybody that's there, we'll all go out and get something to eat, go out and get some lunch. Um, I think Mike wanted to go to the track uh, to test out everything because we'll have the axles done. We'll have his suspension kit put on and the alignment. Uh, we can get right back over to the track. He, I think he wanted to go over to Capitol Raceway. So that'll be great. Um, and if we can't, if Capitals doesn't have a, uh, a test and tune that, that afternoon, that's still fine. We'll just go grab something to eat. Do you ever get my message? Um, oh, did I ever get your message about the channel? Yes, and I was typing in something different. I think I typed in Mr. Jeep and not Mr. Jeep SRT. So when I went to YouTube and I typed in Mr. Jeep, it gave me two other options and it definitely wasn't you. So um, I didn't have a chance to look up your channel uh, yet. If you want to link it here, that'd be great. If you want to put a direct link for it, put it in the chat uh, or add it later on so we can talk about it. Um, 
you know, I, I'm all about helping anybody who wants to start and do this. Um, I don't care what kind of car you have, okay? M like, I'm friends with Mustang guys and Trackhawks and, and uh, Red Eye. It don't matter what kind of car you have. If you're passionate about starting a channel to, if it's just a hobby, if you just want to show off your car, please let me know. I'll talk about it. Um, you know, our buddy MD Muscle has one. Jordan is now Garage Junkie. Uh, I was just breaking balls with Stang Mode. Uh, he's a Mustang guy. Uh, Carl has one. It's badass underscore cars with a K. Um, even Wilson. Wilson, uh, our buddy Wilson has a channel. It says, he does put stuff up on there, but Wilson's very knowledgeable when it comes to, um, the, you know, the street race game. He's got a car, a Datsun. I, I think he said it's like in seven or eight second car this thing is immaculate you saw the picture of his engine bay you could eat off of it it's insanely clean very well done um and the guy is a he's just an awesome dude uh, let's see srt mush posted about an event at echo november 2nd really okay Oh, he's not an admin, can't post links, crap. Okay. When the video uploads after we're done today and the video um, actually uploads to YouTube, post your link down in the comment section and I'll pin it so everybody can go to it. Anybody that wants to do that, anybody that wants to add their channel, just post it below and I'll make sure people see it, okay? Um. There are a lot of there are a lot of good channels out there that I watch. Uh, Josh Share, Kevin Van Voris. Um, believe it or not, I still watch Scotty Kilmer. Rev up your engines! Um, <laughs> I think he's a trip, and he puts out like really good info. Unless he's talking about ceramic coatings, then he doesn't know jack shit. But other than that, the guy puts out pretty good info information, and he's funny. He's entertaining. Um, the every the everything man. He does uh, cameras and stuff like that. Um, you know, uh, unboxing therapy. There's a lot of good channels out there. I, I, I spend more time watching other channels than I do, uh, you know, working on my own. Dorian, Boosted F-150. How can I forget my buddy Dorian? One of the most wicked uh, Ford F-150s you'll ever see. How do you post a direct link right now? Just, just copy your uh, URL to your YouTube channel and then come back and paste it. If you can't, be, uh, he's not an admin. All right, so it's so Mark's telling me you won't be able to post links in this chat. So you'll have to put it into the comments section after the video uploads, all right? That'll be down below after this uploads and we're no longer live. Or if you send it to me on Instagram, send me the link that directs to your channel. Like go to your homepage, copy the URL at the top, head on over to Instagram, and send me a, a direct message with that link, I can post it for, for you. Um, now, I sh one of these days, I should just come up with an entire list. Uh, I was actually talking to, um, I don't know if some of you guys follow him, Destroyer Great Productions. Um, and I'm not going to reveal anything. I'm just going to say that... Uh, He's a veteran. I reached out to him on Instagram uh, the other day because I said, hey, man, everything good? I haven't seen you online in a while. And he told me what's going on. Guy's fine. Everything's good. Uh, but he's not on. He hasn't been doing any videos lately. And after talking to him about, you know, you got to remember, everybody that does this, regular people, normal people, and everybody's situations uh, are, can parallel someone else's. I was like, wow, you know, um, it was a good talk about uh, what's going on. And um, so hopefully he's gonna be back soon, but he's fine, he's good. He's not like, you know, he's, he's in a good place. He's just not on, he's not putting any videos up right now. Are you getting a new wheel and tire set up? Uh, yes. Um, we're gonna we're looking into the weld wheels. 
Uh, I don't know which ones to go up front with the size because of the uh, size of the calipers. For the rear, I'd like to put a, at least a 19 bead lock back there. Look, I'll be honest with you. I want functionality, but I also want something that actually looks good with the car when it's not at the track. You know, as much as I make fun of uh, picture taking, I actually make money doing that. Like, like, like okay, let's. this is going to get skewed again. Uh, I don't do it because I make money. I do it because I, it's a passion. I've been doing photography for a long, long time. A long time. Uh, shoot, all the cameras I have stacked at home. Uh, I love taking pictures. I love doing photography. Um, so I started doing it as in like in an amateur status but selling photos and prints and stuff online um, and it was work it was doing quite well I just have been slacking doing it uh, shoot I wish I could show you one right now you can head over to Flickr uh, the, um, the the username if you want to check it out is Ron R, all lowercase R-O-N-F-I-N 44 and you can see what I'm talking about um, but yeah, I love photography. So we just picked up the iPhone 11. I, I wanted to upgrade one of my lines. We have a backup phone now in case the kids break their phone or if Elena breaks hers again. And uh, the whole, the, the, I wasn't that really impressed with the camera, but the battery life, holy smokes. Now I work 12 hours a day. And I'm usually on my phone in between what we're doing, whether it's uh, union business, um, killing some downtime or whatever. And I would have to charge the iPhone 10 half the night. It would only last last, last a couple hours. I've yet to, I, I've yet, oh my God, I'm like stuttering still. <laughs> I have yet to charge the iPhone 11. I'm not even joking. The, the battery life is insane. That alone is a wow factor for me. It's like, okay, I know people were like, ah, Samsung or whatever. Listen, whatever one you like, go for one that's going to suit you. This latest release by Apple, and I know people break Apple's balls. I get it. Um, is awesome. The battery life is just insanely good. I can't believe that I went from the iPhone 10 to the 11, and I'm so impressed with the 11 that and it, had, it has nothing to do with photo quality either. The, the whole like wide angle is kind of cool, but oh my god, um, yeah, right. Oh, by the way, uh, I got an email. Also, man, it's just more good news. I got an email today from Blackview. Our the uh, giveaway camera and battery has shipped. Uh, it's coming uh, DHL. So once that arrives, we'll start show. I'll show you the. You all know what the camera looks like, but I don't think I've ever unboxed a, uh, a Bravo 124 battery, the ultra battery that they sell for parking mode. You can take that out of the box and show everybody. Um, so, yeah, I mean, just, just just nothing but good news. Now I need to, like, go buy a scratch off and see if I can win a million bucks. <laughs> That'd be great. Um where are your axles? They're shit. Well, the OEM ones are in, like, they're in transit right now. The OEM half shaft will be delivered um, either tomorrow or Monday. The G Force ones are shipping today. They were literally boxing up my package. Um, if UPS picks them up today, I'll get them tomorrow because I paid for next day air. At the very late latest, it'll be on Monday. So I got to call Chase and Evan over at Dunfab and say, yo, guys, um, it's not going to be end of next week. It's going to be the beginning of this week. What can we do so I can get out of this car and not have to extend my rental any time? Um, and then I've got a family party coming up next Saturday, so I'll be out of town. The following weekend is the 19th, and we're we're going to be at B. Woody. Carl, if you're not doing anything, head on down, man. You know, um, I know you ordered your, your parts and all. If you get your parts in, we can still squeeze you in uh, on the same day. And we would only have to be there at 0700 instead of 0900. If I go by myself, it's 09. But if I bring somebody with me to have the same thing installed or something similar, 
it would be zero seven hundred. You got them yesterday. Um, you're taking it to where? Uh, to Dunfab to have them installed. Are they gonna? Is Jason ever gonna knock it out for you? I am having. When uh, when's your appointment with those guys? Did you go with uh, the black powder coat parts to just blend in? It's a shame they didn't offer a blue similar to the color you have, or uh, Joe at Custom Coatings could have color matched you, max those parts with your calipers. What the hell is wrong with my mouth that I can't even speak? Yes, black and only alignment kit. Okay, so you got the adjustable control arms. Um, you already have the... Uh, the rear diff brace. Um, that's awesome. And what else comes with that portion? The, the plates? Nice. Very, very nice. It's all on the car. Looks not. Yeah, it does. Listen, nobody is going to think your car is stock. You're, run, you're driving around on NT05s, okay? Maybe to the untrained eye, somebody would be like, oh, look, there's a Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited or something. Everybody else in the car world is going to go, Trackhawk, oh, NT05s? Yeah, not lining up with them. You're not fooling anybody. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> That's like Wilson, how loud his car is with that liver noise package, pulling up next to somebody and everyone's going to be like, oh, it must be stock. Yeah, right. <laughs> The only person who could probably get away with that uh, is Dorian. If you pull, the only thing that gives it away is he's got this the, the performance stickers on the back of his car. If he took those off, his car looks completely stopped until he freaking launches it, and he's almost a nine-second tr uh, truck down the down the quarter mile. That's insane. I'm just laughing that you went with powder black because you think that's going to help people think you're stock. <laughs> oh, Carl. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I got an email back from that, um, that Cuban cigar site I was telling you about. So I've been, I, mean, I was expecting them to be here soon. And then they said, "Oh, there was a process. There was a problem with the third party, um, whoever they use that processes their credit card uh, sales is outside the United States." And they said, "Oh yeah, um, there's a problem. We need you to send your money PayPal." I went, "What?" And they sent me a link that links it to PayPal gift. I said, no, absolutely not. This is going to be for services or product because I'm not sending you 200 bucks as a gift. You're absolutely insane. And I said, I looked at my receipt. You already charged me. And they're telling me that they didn't. And I'm like, you already charged me. So now they've got to go after the people that do their billing because it looks like somebody's doing something shady. So I'm out a box of cigars right now. I'm pissed. Uh so no, those aren't coming. It looks like I'm gonna have to pick up the Drew Estates um, tomorrow. Probably head up to Holtz or um, uh, that place uh, in the, what is it, Welsh Road. That sucks. Because the last box I ordered from this, this site was amazing. Uh, the plume, perfect, nothing was dry, nothing, no dry rot, nothing. Great, great cigars. Oh, well. Anybody know what the update is on the Flyers, too? Anybody follow hockey? It was 1-1. They're playing over in Czechoslovakia right now for their their uh, season opener. Got to go. All right, brother. Hey, uh, let me know. Oh, by the way, Carl just made a 10-5 pass in his track off. That's his uh, personal best. Uh, they're over at Echo right now, doing um, you know it's a it's a closed track rental. 
The DA is probably insanely good today. Yesterday was 93. Today, of course, is in the 60s. Um, and it's dry. So well, all, all the best to my buddy over there. Be safe. Drop that um, time down a couple more tenths. That'd be awesome. Drew Estates. Yeah, I love Drew Estates. I love the Java ones. And um, as a matter of fact, I don't think I've had a bad, a bad cigar from them. But we're all over the place today. We're talking about cigars, we're talking about racing, and uh, let's see. I'm just in a good mood. Breaking my buddy Stangboat's balls about his last video. If you watch his channel, it's great. It's like uh, it's it's like fiction. You know, he gaps the world. Good guy, but come on. Uh, choose later. Good nobbin, my friend. Good nobbin. I will see you later. Yeah, well, we're going to lose the signal here in a second. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, Barrett. Talking to you is bringing back. I'm, I'm starting to remember a lot of my German. I should start uh, practicing a lot more often. Yeah, my, my German, my Deutsch is very, my, is uh, is bad enough that it's not that good, but it's whew, it's really rusty. All right. Take care, my friend, my Freud. Um, man, I gotta I gotta call Chase and Evan in a minute and find out what their schedule looks like. Uh, I'm waiting to get that email this afternoon. Now, remember Wichita, Kansas, where GeForce Performance is located, is an hour behind at Central Time. It's uh, 15:35 right now. It's only 14:35 where they are. I don't know what time UPS picks their pickup. I would guess before five because it's a business. Unless they have a special deal with them um, to pick up, like a late, late pickups. So yeah, I had to get my tracking information. I can find out exactly uh, when it's scheduled to be delivered. I watched that, but yeah, he's a great, he's a nice guy. He's a very nice guy. Um, we have disagreements on certain things. Like he, his last video, he put up. He's like, you know, chick, pick which one you like gapping. First of all, I don't mind win, winning and losing. I post everything. I had a 14 stats when I read lit one time. I put it up. I put everything up. Some people don't. Uh, he's a modified 18 Mustang. E85 tire. Uh, weight reduction. Seats out. The whole nine yards. I own stock. And he won. He beat me. Uh, it was 11... Four to eleven two. It was a good race. It was a it was a, a door burner all the way down. Point two. But when you but he'll put stuff up like I kept them, you know. But that's that, you know that's part of the hustle. I appreciate that. That's a part of the all breaking in the YouTube hustle. But what I didn't agree with was he left out our buddy Wilson. Wilson raked his car. Like Wilson runs low tens all day. The only time you're beating a guy is when he red lights. Um, but there was never a mention of it. There was never anything on it. He, he kind of is misleading people a little bit with how he beats up on track hauls. Stock, sure. You go equal, tired, tired to tune in E85. He's, that car's getting eaten all day long. Now, future, he's putting a VMP blower on it. He's going to eat everybody. Um, but that's not, you know, that's for down the road. So I was breaking his balls a little bit today. I was like, we could we could set up a little cash race with Wilson and you. And of course, he declined. He said he only races for views. I mean, you can't go broke when you just race for views. Um, but he's a great guy. I like the dude. But I'm going to break his balls just like I break Jordan's, Carl's, everybody else's. Uh, let's see, thirty. Wow, we we got here in per great timing. Thirty. We're thirty and thirty right now. Um, so yeah, that was our update today. It was crazy. I got all the updates all at once. Blackview shipped their uh, 
Um, no, actually, I'll tell you what, Mark. Um, so it would still be a, a door burner. First of all, Stang Mode can cut a light. Cundin can cut a light. He's a really, really good racer. The dude can cut a light. Very impressive with his skills. Um, when you go up against him, you better not sleep on the tree because he'll kill you. All right, he don't race. He doesn't race for ETs. It's grudge racing. First one at the end of the track when the light turns green, how it should be. Um, if you're sleeping on the wheel, I don't care if you've got a nine second car. If you fall asleep on the light on him, he's going to beat you. Uh, our track, the track clock now. Well, it was an eighty degree temperature. I think we can get it down ten six, ten five, but. Uh, we were 10-7 consistently last time we ran it, right before we blew, blew the tr uh, axle. We ran four times at the track, five if you include blowing up the axle. All four were 10-7s, okay? His two best times are 10-9s, so it's still, a, like I said, whoever leaves the tree. And I'll tell you what, I'm not going to lie, the guy can race his balls off. If he was racing, if I went to the track and I was betting on him, I could make a lot of money. Seriously, if I, if there were people that like, all right, I got this guy. I'm like, all right, I got the purple car. <laughs> well, he's uh, green now. I was like, I got the green serpent snake over here because he's going to beat a lot of people because he can race. Um, remember, racing's not just about having the best, fast, fastest car. That means nothing if you don't know how to race it. That dude can race. Um, all right, let me get off the guy's pole right now. I'm just, I, I, I call it like, it is, you know, um, the guy is a, he's a good dude. He can race. I'm going to break his balls over his little goofy video though. Yeah, he's, he, he can. Dorian, um, Sean, our buddy SRT, Sean, uh, with the red eye, Jim with his red eye. I'm trying to think of the people that I actually know that go there. Um, Carl, a matter of fact, Carl just posted a couple of his time slips. His, uh, his um, reaction times were really impressive as far as, you know, his older ones. He's, he's going for times today. Not looking, not, not. ET-wise, yeah, ET-wise, um, if we were racing for just fastest time, he couldn't beat the track hawk now. It's it's not fast enough. When he puts his VMP blower on, he'll kill me. <laughs> There's nothing, he'll kill me. Um, but that's for another time. Um I'd love to have a rematch if he would, uh, if he wants to set it up. We could race for views. <laughs> We're all big. We have a big group of people. You know us. You met us all. Stang mode. I hate using that name. Uh, Cundin, um, Dorian. Uh, what the hell's his name? Um, with the uh, red Mustang. He he had a red one. He, he had an accident with it. Uh, the apply his appliance buddy. God, I always forget his name. Shoot. And then you have the uh, his other. The, there's a couple guys that are in that group, and then you have Sean's always there. Jordan, Carl, myself, um, Jim. Jim and his son are always there. And Jim runs that that blue red eye all the time. Uh, it's fun to watch him race. I was the day I was there. The day I broke my axle on our his first pass, he ran a. 10-0 flat. I mean, 10 0 He was just knocking on the nine-second door, and I was like, oh. I don't know if he ever got it that night, because my second pass... It was, I don't know if I ever mentioned this, but the guy I raced in the first race uh, was a uh, Mercedes. And in the second race, he was in front of me, but in the left lane, and he was racing Dorian. He broke his axle on his second race. And then that was the same race I broke mine. Talk about bad luck for both of us. Um, hey, Gerhard versus Los. French, what's going on, brother? Just killing a little bit more time at the end here. Just updating everybody on our uh, axle situation. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for all of my axles to be coming at once. OEM shipped already. They'll be here either tomorrow or Monday. Uh, that's at the dealership. G-Force, I got off the phone with Bill. He was packaging up the shipment. Uh, if UPS picks it up today, next day our delivery will be tomorrow. If they don't, I'll get it Monday. 
at the very latest, if UPS delays it, would be Tuesday. But it looks like it's within the next two days, um, which is amazing. Plus, Blackview, a.k.a. Pitasoft out of Korea, sent me an email. They shipped our um, Blackview dash cam for the giveaway along with the Ultra battery, the Bravo 124 battery. With um, That's coming DHL, so that'll be here in a couple days, too. Uh, Jim, he did? No? Did Jim? Oh, he did. He, I don't know if he ran a, a mark. I don't know if he cracked into the nine yet. I, I don't know. I'll have to have, reach out to Jordan or um, Carl might know. Either one of them may know. Um, even Stag Mode might know. I might have to send him a message and say, uh, ask him if he knows because he's there more than I am. But he ran 10-0 flat. And that was in a crappy weather. If he's there today, he should. The last time I heard, he was 10.00 flat. He, he knocked it down. Oh, maybe it was 10.02. Uh, Gerhard, the axles are... The, they're shipped. Well, the one is shipped. It should be arriving tomorrow or Monday. That's the OEM half shaft. And the uh, GeForce Performance are supposed to leave the shop today. They have the parts. They have them at the shop. I talked to them. Uh, everybody, all the vendors are happy. Um, it's supposed to leave today as long as UPS picks it up and, you know... it they leave so not until i get my tracking number um we'll wait so i just got to call chase and evan in a second and ask them uh what their schedule looks like this week but he did say as fast as was 10 -0. okay so maybe mark maybe that was his the 10 he was talking about was the day i broke down because his son came running back down the uh staging lanes and I said, how did your pop run? And he said, 10-0 flat. And I went, what? He says, he's knocking on that nine-second door. I'm like, a 10-0 flat is, that's, uh, I would not want to run a 10-0 flat. Because you're, you're, you're a breeze away from a nine-second pass. I'd rather run a 10-0-2 or a 10-0-5 and be like, okay, we need a little bit more. Work. But, man, 10-0 flat, you're like, seriously? <laughs> oh, so close. It's insane. It is. It's a, definitely a kick in the dick. Oh, there goes my monetization. <laughs> ah, YouTube sucks. All right, let's let's um, wrap this up. Um, I will update you guys later on today. Somehow, uh, if I get the shipping confirmation from one, uh, maybe tomorrow. I don't normally go live on Saturdays, but we may go live tomorrow just to talk about it if it, if they do indeed arrive. Uh, of course, our Instagram will have pictures up and um, the community section of the YouTube channel will too. So uh, I think that's it for now. I only got to go because nature's calling thanks to Red Bull. I know, I know people, it's bad. I should stop drinking them. That's my one vice or second vice. I don't know. All right, you guys and girls, I'll be safe. I'll talk to you later on. I'm out.